Hey, welcome to the GAC Weekly. I am glad that you're along for the ride today. I'm Joey McWilliams, and man, it is time to continue our journey through the Great American Conference as we're getting ready for the 10th year of the league. And we're opening up this year visiting with folks from the 12 member schools around the Great American Conference in Arkansas and in Oklahoma. Today, our stop is in Durant, and we get to visit with the Associate Athletic Director for External Operations at Southeastern Oklahoma State University. That is Seth Dutton. And Seth, man, it is really great to have you on the show today. I appreciate it. Thanks for taking time. Look, there is a lot going on, and I've been watching you online. I did get to visit with you uh a week or so ago on another broadcast Mm -hmm. talking about what is going on on the campus of Southeastern, but in getting to see all the updates along the way, it's just absolutely really, really neat what is being done there in specific departments. I know overall uh, the branding, the, the, the athletic department is just growing by leaps and bounds, but specifically right now with volleyball and with Bloomer Sullivan gymnasium, there's some big things happening. Can you take us through that? Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll kind of take you back a couple years ago. Um, honestly, back when I was on campus as a graduate assistant and a student athlete, there was a vision painted about rebranding the volleyball venue, creating, you know, with it being the old basketball gym, let, let's rebrand this and make this specifically volleyball. And, uh, you know, talks of a new weight room has always been in the, in there. And it kind of just finally came to fruition. Uh, Keith did a, Keith worked really hard on it. And, you know, we filled in the pool because the pool was not, usable at the time and you know we gained 5,000 square feet brought uh we're bringing all the weight room equipment in and then you know you split the old basketball gym in half and turn half of it into a turf room that can be used uh, by all of our sports and uh when the weather's bad going there to train work out all that it's about 40 yards and then uh, you go to the other side and you see a completely re- uh, rebranded volleyball venue with uh volleyball everything you know that's that is theirs and so that's one thing that's really awesome and unique, um, especially for our volleyball team. That's something that's uh, exciting. You know, I think for the teams in the Great American Conference this year, with the way Division Two has set some maximums on contests allowed to be played through, I mean, it, it's throughout the entire division, all the way across the board. For volleyball, we're talking about pre- purely a conference schedule is what we're looking at. And I think that the teams coming in will be excited to get to play on this court at Southeastern. I think so too. I think when, when they walk in, they're going to see that uh, it's completely different. It's going to be new, new look. You're going to see branding, and uh, you know we're excited to show showcase it off. And uh, it's going to be really exciting to see that it's ours. And uh, you know the lighting in there—that's one of the big things. You walk in and you see the the LED lighting. It's 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 bright. You can see it's it looks fresh and new. And it's uh, you know we pulled out the bleachers. Uh, Friday, just to see where the bleachers would be in comparison to the court. And when you talk about a game environment, fans are going to be right on the court. And I think with, with sports like that, that's something that you want because it's going to create an awesome environment for us to play in. Uh, the visiting team is going to have to going to have to deal with that. But that's that's one thing that's super exciting is getting to be able to be on the court and and just kind of really create that environment that that's going to be fun for everybody there because. You know, if you've gone to a a volleyball match, you know, they're fun to go to and they're a lot more fun when you've got an environment where people are close to the court, getting loud and you know how it is. Fans being fans. (laughs) That's right. And I I hope we get to see a a full complement of fans over the course of this Mm -hmm. year. I know that that it may be a work in progress throughout the the athletic year, but still, that's that's what we're pushing for. And, you know, Seth, one more thing about volleyball as it is in the Great American Conference. I know that you know this as well. I mean. The central region is a, is a tough region to play, but this mm-hmm. is a conference that has very good volleyball teams in it, and it it should be just fun to watch. That that's true. You know, we're like you like we talked about the other day. Uh, Fourteen of the top twenty five were in our region, and you kind of break it down by conference. It is a highly competitive league, and you know I, I'm excited to see with these new facilities where that's going to put us in the in the standings of our region. You know, and I think we've got an exceptional coach. She came from a league where they're top tier in volleyball in the north from the Northern Sun. And so I'm really excited to see where we go once uh, this is done and, and she gets settled in. Talking about another sport, by the way, in which the central region is tough and the Great American Conference specifically is tough. That's softball. And there is more going on there on the campus of Southeastern as well. Yes, we uh, we've had a donor that, that's come in and. Um, 
you know, throughout the past couple of years, if you've been out there, you've seen new dugouts get put in. Um, the locker room kind of got redone. And now if you drive by the softball field, you're going to see brand new branding. It's going to match baseball, basketball, football, everything else on campus. Um, iron rod fence is going to go is going up around there. And then, you know, when you drive by, if you would have driven by two weeks ago, you would have done a double take because the fence was down. <laughs> so they've completely got it. They've got a new fence out there. The old fence was wood. And we'd have to paint it every year. And, you know, when you've got girls out there making plays on the wall, trying to rob home runs, cleats dig in there, paint shows, paint goes away. So now we've gone to a completely metal fence and it really it really changes the landscape of that. So softball has definitely seen uh, has definitely seen some upgrades. And then one thing, you know, last week when we talked is baseball has done the same thing. You know, that fence that we got matches baseball. And, and so we're trying to get everything on par. And if you were to drive by our baseball field, you know, you're going to see a complete difference there as well when you got the hitting facility and the branding around the field and the new score or the new scoreboard, the new dugouts, the actual uh, the home side is now on the third base side, which is different than when I played. So that's new and unique. So, you know, we've definitely, uh, you know, over the last five years, there's been some improvements made throughout our uh, athletic department and uh, we're starting to see the benefits in sports. Well, and with the the fence down around the softball field, you know, as I as I drove by, I thought about getting out and running the bases too. So, you know, it was, it was a bit of a temptation there. But you, you mentioned another another field, another facility for Southeastern and for the Great American Conference in baseball. Another strong sport for the GAC. Very. As well, well Very. I, I know that I'm catching you working today and. You are working on a golf classic, so there's a lot going on for you as well. Not that it ever really stops for you, Seth. Yeah. I know it's a 24-7, pretty much 365. Job security. I mean, it's it's job security, but <laughs> I talk about the golf classic. That's a big thing coming up. It is. So we've kind of combined two tournaments. We combined the presidential golf tournament and the gridiron golf tournament that football typically does, and uh, we're trying to, just reach, uh, uh, trying to reach as many alums as we can, and that's happening July 11th. And, you know, as of about 20 minutes ago, we've got five spots left. I mean, it's filling up fast and we're, uh, we've got a lot of great partners that are partnering with us to help support that event. And, uh, it's, it's an, it's going to be an awesome tournament. And at the end of the day, we get to uh, generate revenue for our students. So that's, that's a, uh, that's always a plus. So, um, we're really excited about that. It's going to bring two super exciting tournaments together and, uh, it's going to be a good day for Southeastern on July 11th. So, Seth, I know that you were playing uh, baseball at least some of the time when Southeastern was in the, the Lone Star Conference, but uh, mm -hmm. you, you've been around and at least close by, even if you weren't actually working for Southeastern at the time, you've been close by. You've seen the Great American Conference grow and, and now being a part of it uh, on a more intimate basis, even with your, uh, with your current uh, associate athletic director role that you have right now, the GAC going into year number 10. Can you talk about that? Well, you know, when you look back at all these years, you look, it's, it's interesting to see, you know, when we first started, actually, when I, my, my first years playing football here, um, we were in the, we were in the JC. So it's been awesome to see this conference grow from what it was to what it is now. And then, you know, you look back in year 10 and you look at how competitive we've been in almost all sports around, you know, that, that says something about where our location is. And we've got great people that work for the conference and we've got great schools in our conference and, you know, we're, I would put us up at one of the top conferences in the nation when it comes to competitiveness across the board. You know, you talk about football, baseball, basketball. You know, we had a school play in the, uh, the semifinals in football. You know, baseball's, you know, we've had teams go to the World Series before. It's softball, we've had teams go to the World Series before. And so, and in basketball, it's, you know, women's basketball made it to the, the national championship game. So, you know, those are, the, we, we have gotten super competitive as a conference over the last 10 years, and it's awesome. And I think it has to do with our location where we're located because there's talent all around us and it's exciting to see the, uh, the conference grow and, and be as, as competitive as it is. And it's, it's also, it's also cool to see, you know, every, every couple of years, there's a new, there's a new team in the conference, meaning there's a new team at the top. And so that just kind of shows you how, how hard it is in this league to win. And, uh, but you know, over the last 10 years, it's grown a lot and uh, we've produced some high quality student athletes and a lot, and some of them go, got, got to go play pro and, in sports. And, and so that's, it's, it's been a, uh, it's been a fun ride over the last 10 years. It certainly has. And you're right. There is a parody in the league and, and it seems like a different team every year or every couple of years, but it's not because the level of competition has uh, either gone down or been stagnant. It's gone up every year as well. So mm -hmm. Seth Dutton, associate athletic director for external operations. Thank you for taking time with us today here on the GAC weekly. 
I appreciate it. Thank you. And, and one thing I was going to say, too, it's it's a blessing to have a close conference in football. So you don't have to go out every year and look for uh, look for new home games and try to do home and homes and stuff like that. So that is one thing that from our standpoint that we see, uh, I, I do enjoy. It's a set schedule every year. and You know who you're going to play. You know where you're going to play. Because I've been at, at an institution where where we had to find games and sometimes uh you know, the, the really good teams are those those games are hard to schedule because, you know, some teams don't want to come play us. So I'm excited to be in a conference that's closed like that, where uh, where, you know, who you're going to play, when you're going to play and where you're going to play. That is a big deal. And it's and you're you're exactly right. Not something to be taken for granted either. Uh, no doubt about that. By the way, you can see the GAC schedules, the updated schedules for Division Two on OklahomaSports.net and ArkansasSports.net. And you're watching us right now on Midwest Sportsnet's YouTube channel, so please do subscribe to that. We want to keep our subscriptions growing and provide more content. By the way, Midwest Sportsnet's YouTube channel is the home of the GAC Weekly. So for Seth Dutton, I'm Joey McWilliams. Thank you for watching the GAC Weekly today. God bless you, and have a great day.